Your ear feels too. All right, muting myself. You're you're recording. Go for it. You already recorded it for me. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen here. Um, I think it's funny because the name of this call is being resourceful, and I'm realized tonight how funny that is because you know I'm sitting here, a you know a leader on the team, and I still don't even have um, PowerPoint. <laughs> to create slides for the call. So this is me being resourceful. I went on PicMonkey, I chose and made my own images, and I'm gonna view them and show them to you one by one on my screen. So, welcome to the team call. It's Monday night, May 23rd, 2016. I'm Kat, um, a little bit of house cleaning stuff here. Not, not house cleaning, really, it's exciting because all of these people have made success clubs so far. So the people that are already in, we have Mariah, Nikki, Katie, Joan, Mackenzie, Courtney, and Kristen. So excellent job, guys. You guys are already in success club. We have a ton of people that are on their way. I'm sorry if I missed you because the document hasn't been updated, but that's another place to familiarize yourself with. If you're making success club, you're getting points on the board. You guys should all be updating this document so that you can be recognized on the team. Because again, that fourth behavior is being created for us. Vital behavior recognition. So, Brenda, Christine, Alicia, um, Abby, Andrea, Candy, Sophia. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Renee, Nikki, Dominique, Aaron, Brittany, Beth, Meg, Nicole, Bridget, and Lindsay. I felt the need to say everybody's name on that one. So we have some new Emerald coaches. And again, I use Project Fearless to determine who has you know, been promoted this past week. And there are only a few, but awesome job. We have Lauren Panero, new Emerald coach. Congratulations. And then we also have Paige Grady, beautiful blonde here. Congratulations, guys. That's awesome. That means you have officially opened your business centers and you are ready to rock it. So. The, the purpose of my call tonight is to share some tools and resources that I think that it's important that everybody knows what they are, where they're located, and that there's so much information out there for you to know. And it can be overwhelming as a new coach. I know that we say, you know, message your coach as many times as possible. You're never going to be annoying them. And that is the truth. However, it gets to the point where you need to be taking responsibility for your own business and treating it as a business, not treating your coach as Google, if you will. I know that Joan has looked at me and is very comfortable saying to me, go find it yourself. And don't take offense to that if your coach looks at you and says that to you because I can promise you that they are doing you a favor by telling you that. And I say that because it's important to take reins of your business. So. I'm going to start, there's a few resources that I really wanted to touch base upon, um, you know, Project Fearless being one of them. This, you know, we have this awesome social media tool, Facebook, that allows us to have this place to all connect and have all this information. We have a plethora of information everywhere. So Joan and Brian created this group, and there's so much information in here. So just a few things to touch base on. Um, keywords. Keywords can be like the best thing in the world when it comes to this page. So I don't know if any one of you have ever noticed this part, but search this group. So I know that actually we're going to lead into an announcement that I forgot to make, and this is the perfect kind of place to search for it. Super Saturday. If you haven't registered for it, you're like, okay, I need to register for this event that's coming up. How do I do that? So go to this search group, type in Super Saturday, and search. So, you know, it might not be the first thing it posts up that pops up, but look at you scroll down a little bit. Ryan's already made a post here that says if you're not in the Portland Maine area, you can find everything or an event to go to by simply following these steps. He's made it really easy for you. I could show you how to do that in the back office as well. Um, but let's see here. So if you keep scrolling, look at this Team Beach Party Super Saturday. And, you know, there's a different. If you open this up, I know Joan, for example, put the link right here. You don't have to ask anybody. It's right there. It connects you right to Eventbrite. You don't have to ask someone where to go to find out and sign up. It's right there for you. So using that search bar is an awesome place to you know, find what you're looking for. Um, another very helpful place on this website or on this page, the file section. Oh, everything's located there. So if you go into the file section, Things like the conversation template, things like, you know, updating your success club points. So for those of you that are like, all right, I have some success club points. I didn't know I had to update it. 
look at this, Success Club 2016. It's right there for you to update. So there's just a ton of stuff back here, guys. Take, take a little time for yourself and set it aside for yourself to kind of search through. You know, there's a ton of things in here, conversation templates and tips. The cool thing about our resources is that there's a million different places where you can find it. So Facebook, as well as our Team Project Fearless page, are a great place to go and see all of these things. So, you know, next time you're like, God, I wish I had that conversation template. Do not even ask your coach where it is. Go search our team page. Or better yet, you can take a peek at this amazing website that Joan has created. Like, come on, this is professional right here. So awesome tabs that are located in this website. The website is, and I'll type it into, eh, I'll type it into the chat at the end, but it's www teamprojectfearless.com. Pretty simple. So when you get to the website, I know that there's a link in the Facebook page that will bring you here, but it's important to know. So, you know, if you're a new coach or if you're a leader that are looking to, you know, how do you You can't. Yeah. Can I interrupt you for one minute? Yeah. So I was just thinking, I love the, you know, I love that you pointed out that you can use the search bar in the, in the Facebook page. I use yeah. it all the time. Like even when I'm like looking for something that I'm like, oh, I want to tag somebody in that post that, or that video that I posted a while ago. But what I was thinking is, is if everybody, when they do post something, we could start doing like hashtags that might make it even easier. You know, if you put like a hashtag, like for instance, I know that there's a post in here that is a thread about pregnancy and whether you can drink Shakeology while you're pregnant or while you're nursing or whatever. So like if somebody had originally put that up and said pregnant, pregnancy, nursing, nursing and Shakeology or whatever, you know, then, you know, it might make it even easier. But I do know that you can type in just that, but a few cool. different versions would make it so that you can type in, you know, one thing and it'll pop it up even if it maybe was slightly different in the version that's in there. Just a thought. Totally. No, that's absolutely, that's a good idea. I think we should all start doing that. And I meant to ask if the people that are in Success Club have posted in the team page about how they've made Success Club. I think that's a really good thing that we talked about last week. Um, anyway, so um, back to the Team Project Fearless website. Again, there's a ton of stuff in here. If you're a new coach and, you know, you have an upline coach and you're like, oh, where do I start? As your coach, they are a few different places to start. And the Team Project Fearless page, back to, you know, the original pinned post, there's this awesome post that Joan has in here that she's pinned right to the top of our page that basically walks you through, like, who does this? I'm sure that Joan did not have something like this to follow when she became a coach. But, like, look how easy this is. It literally says, start here. And it gives you the link to the teamprojectfearless.com. It tells you the password, without fear, with a capital W. You know, it brings you through important things to download, Zoom, which we're on right now, of course, so you guys have all followed that. But, you know, there's important videos that she points out here. So, you know, if you have questions about commissions, like, look at this. You don't even have to ask anybody. It's right there for you. Success club, coach placement. There's a million different things. And again, I want to just stress to you, I'm not talking to the brand new coaches that this may be their first team call. This will be a good call for you to kind of be like, oh, what was that girl talking about? I know I can find that somewhere. But, you know, make sure you're bugging your coach to the point where, you know, you have all these questions if you're new. But if you're, if you're you know, been on the team for a little while, I think it's time to spread your wings and fly. So anyway. Awesome place here to find resources. Um, Team Project Fearless website. Again, she has these steps right out for you. Laid right out, super simple. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because I think this is the best place to come and find your, you know, your trainings. But I think an important part of being a leader and being resourceful is the fact that you, know, you should be spending time not just copying Joan's stuff. I know that, you know, if you go to Joan's page and you read her posts, it's so easy to be like, wow, that was an awesome post. Or even another coach, it doesn't even have to be Joan. But, you know, being a leader means being resourceful, means being creative, means being your own person. So if you're going to spend the time to do trainings, awesome. Use her templates if you can or if you need to to get started. But as you grow as a leader, you should absolutely be thinking of the things that you need to be doing to create your own trainings for your people. Because I can tell you the way that Joan words something is not gonna be the way that I word something, potentially when it comes to describing something. So, you know, going back into it, I'm gonna kind of get out of here. 
But teambeachbody.com, like we all see this and there's so many things on this website that it can be super overwhelming. So, you know, I start here and I always go into the coach online office and this is basically where all your stuff is. Don't judge me. I'm going to make success of there's nothing listed there right now. <laughs> anyway, so good place to go. Sales and marketing. Um, no, actually we're talking about training. So let's go here. News and training. So again, be resourceful but create your own trainings. We have a ton of different corporate trainings that have been put out here, but I'm sure that Joan is able to take these things and create her own from, you know, this basic training guide. So there's a ton of stuff here, guys, getting started coaches your time to learn the fundamentals as an Emerald coach. It tells you what things you should know. And if you go in here and take a peek at all these things, there's a ton of resources for training. There's leadership ladder information, training library, tons of stuff back here, guys. Um, let's see, say that you weren't, were looking for ideas and you want some, uh, some you know, inspiration from other people that may not be on Project Fearless. I didn't know this. I just came in here and looked at this a second ago. Recognition. I mean, I've been to events for Beachbody, so I just know off the top of my head, you know, who's the top coach. But for the new people or, you know, the people that are just getting started, they may not know stuff like that. So if you go into this incentives and rewards tab, go into the recognition tab, you can come right here and see 2015 winners. You can see all the top coaches in the company. Um, you can see an elite, a list of elite coaches, premier coaches, top recruiters, and that just may give you some inspiration if you want to go take a peek at their pages and see what you know they're doing. I will make a side note, pay, don't spend and waste a lot of time comparing yourselves and trying to become another coach. It just may be a good idea to look at their page just to kind of see what they're doing, just to get an idea, but don't compare yourself because that will drive you nuts um, but yeah there's a ton of stuff back here Shakeology 365ers I bet a million of you on our team are listed there that's awesome so challenge groups Every, I get questions about this all the time you know how do you create your challenge groups we all have templates you know we've all created our images on PicMonkey or word swag or whatever we're using for you know our school to create our images but what I found out when I first started coaching is that we have this awesome business tool back here, um, business tools, and you can come right in here and there are these things called challenge group guides. And look at this, there's everything from the three day refresh to 22 hardcore, you know, basically everything under the sun. I mean, Shalene Extreme, these are guides that allow you to come up with daily posts. So, you know, I'll just come into 22 Hardcore just because that's where, what I'm doing currently. But there's a weekly coaching guide. You come in here, guys, and it literally gives you posting examples for every single day that you should be posting into your group. And if you're a part of the 22 Hardcore group for Team Project Fearless, you might, you know, recognize some of these that we've already used. So it takes you through. There's YouTube videos. You know, there's posting ideas. If you scroll down here... I will make another side note, highly suggest making all of these your own. So don't just take these corporate images that they've put in there. They're just giving them to you for example sakes. Corporate wants you to be yourself. Um, same with, you know, the wording in these posts. There might be, you know, it's very technical and you want it to be you. So come in here and use it as, you know, inspiration for what you're going to post, but don't copy and paste it. I mean, if you're it's your first challenge group, feel free to, you know, do that make your own images it's just it, it makes it less tacky but again these are super awesome guides here that are here for you so next time you're running a challenge group remember that your coach is also running their business what should I post to my challenge group go to the challenge group guide it's there for you to use um, posting ideas um, going back to project fearless there's awesome posts in here if you go into the file section I'm pretty sure that there is a tab here what to post about I get questions about that all the time too and that's another way that you can use those top coaches to go back and you know kind of see what they're talking about I know that you know there's videos on um, that pin post that talk about um, find share and invite so go back and you know refresh on that video if you need to if you're not sure what you should post about um, training you know I know that I asked a few coaches questions that they get a lot and one of the major questions was, you know, what's in the challenge group? I mean, what's in the challenge packs? And, you know, what's there? I didn't know this. Yeah. Joan? 
Yeah. So I don't want to interrupt if you're going there, but it's something that I didn't even realize was here until like last week, but they've, if you go to this challenge group toolkit link. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, nope to the left. Oh, it's still there. You're still there. Okay. So obviously there's a link to my challenge tracker. So that's the, the subset, like the app that you can use instead of using Facebook to run your challenges. So you can go in there and you can learn all about that. But there's the complete guide to challenge packs. There's the challenge pack sheet. There's sample social media posts about how to post a hook. There's the guides. There's everything you need to get started with a challenge group. So um, this was not there even when we all started as coaches. This wasn't there actually like a month ago. So no. So um, you know, this is just really good stuff to have because I know everybody's always asking, "How do I compare all the different challenge packs? How do I know the prices of all the different challenge packs? Where do I look to see all that?" Or what's a challenge group? Or how do I post about my challenge group? Guys, it's all right here totally the link the link that i was going to go to that i had no idea was here was you know view all toolkits like we literally have a page here that lists every single program that beachbody has ever created and you can literally come in here and it will tell you all about that program it's exactly what joan would just brought to you you know what we were just showing you about joan like it shows you everything for that specific program so you know we were just in the challenge group guides and it showed every single program but here you can even filter it out. So you're like, I don't want all that noise. I just want 22 hardcore. So you can come in here and there's like all kinds of stuff. There's still the guides, but there's an FAQ that links you to teambeachbody.com, which is kind of where I'm going next. So like, you know, I understand that you may not know where to go to find all this stuff, but the cool thing is, is that we have the, the coach FAQ. Um, and I will tell you, when I first became a coach, I got really confused because there's an FAQ on teambeachbody.com where before you get into your back office, and then there's also an FAQ at the bottom of the screen once you get into the back office. So don't link yourself. It's not showing it because it's still loading. But don't link yourself to the FAQ at the bottom of you know the main Team Beachbody page. Make sure you're going to the coach, coach online office and then scrolling all the way to the bottom to go to this link right here to the FAQ. And, you know, I just came up with some examples of things to search, but like, you know, <clears throat> searching, you know, so you didn't know what success club was. And I know that as a new coach, that's something that your coach is going to tell you about. So you should have no problem, but say that, you know, you get on your get started right call and she tells you all about, or he or she tells you all about success club. And you're like, shoot, I forgot, you know, what the heck is this club that they keep talking about? Come right into that FAQ, you know, search for success club. And you come up with a million different things that you can bring up. So, you know, it tells you about the lead program. It tells you about how to earn success club points. Um, it even brings you to the success club trip 27 to Punta Cana. Get on the wait list if you haven't, if you haven't already registered for it. Side note. Um, but like, for example, I didn't even know this success club, April, 2016. I didn't know that in April we could have qualified for, you know, getting in early to the core. Like come in here and search guys. If I had known that I would have been back here. No one. Does. Anyway, so another thing, um, another example is challenge packs. And it's probably going to link you to some of the things that we were just talking about. But, you know, you can come in here and find anything under the sun about challenge packs. You just simply use those keywords and search for them. The FAQ is an amazing place. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and scold you, but if you can't find it in the FAQ, ask your coach. I get it. But I feel that like I worked in a customer service position where we had this tool called knowledge library. And then we had our, you know, um, subject matter experts that we could call if we couldn't find it in knowledge library. But the rule of thumb was that the subject matter matter expert couldn't tell you the answer to your question. They could just tell you how to get there. So I challenge you as a leader on this team, instead of giving your coaches the answers to the question that they're asking, show them how to find it so that you can start training their, your coaches and, and making their brains think of, you know, not just going to you as a Google, you know, search, but going to you so that they can figure out where they need to go to find these things. Um, and it's a huge challenge because I know that, you know, if you're in the rush or something like that, it's easier just to say the answer, but you're not helping anybody out by doing that. So remember, you're trying to repeat what you're doing so that these girls and guys can be successful in this business. And they're not going to be successful unless you know where you can find the answers to all these questions and be resourceful. Um, I think that I touched on a lot of these places, but 
other resources that, you know, we talk about and that, you know, are super duper helpful. You know, so I know that if you go to the teambeachbody.com website and you click on the challenge pack links, um, it, it makes you click like three different choices for challenge packs in order to see any information about these challenge packs. Um, I know that a trick for me is that, you know, I use the mobile enroller all the time to enroll coaches. I use, <laughs> this is kind of funny, I use um, a dummy account to log in and see um, the prices for these challenge packs. So, you know, we have promotions every month. You know, the prices of things can change sometimes. Um, it, it happens all the time. And, you know, even I forget sometimes. I'm like, gosh, how much is, you know, thir max 30 this month? But if you go to the mobile enroller, you know, don't use your own email. I... <laughs> It's kind of funny. I use my Nana's email. So I do, <laughs> she's not a coach, Nana Joni 413 or 314 413 over here. And like you can go through the whole step of pretending like you're going to log somebody in and not actually send them anything, but you're able to see all of the costs of, you know, challenge packs. So if you're going through this motion here, but look, you can come right in here and see the products and not enroll anybody, but still kind of see how much things are. So the specials are always going to have these banners on them. You're like, hmm, how much is hammer and chisel this month? Just randomly select it like you're going to come in here um, and purchase something. doesn't matter what Shakeology because they're not going to order it. And it's super easy just to be like, all right, hmm, sorry about it loading. Oh, it's 180 this month. You know, so it's super simple to use your tools, but being resourceful with it just you know, you can use a dummy account to figure that out. Um, what's in the challenge packs? You can go back to that product toolkit, super helpful. Um, another resource that's super awesome is YouTube. And I forget about this one a lot, but you know, Joan has a YouTube page. Every single one of these team calls gets posted there. Um, you know, she makes posts all the time or videos all the time that are saved there. But literally, Team Beachbody, has their own YouTube page. So corporate announcements are here. The surge is here. And I know that you can actually find this stuff in the back office as well. Um, but YouTube's awesome because you can see how other coaches train. Um, you know, top coaches. So, like, let's see Melanie Mitro. You can go to her YouTube page and see all of her videos. YouTube's awesome. Confidence in your invites. How many people lack confidence when they're talking on Facebook and starting conversations. I know that she has an awesome video obliterating objections too. So it's just, you know, using your resources and finding other ways to figure it out. I, I'm, I'll use my coach as an example, Candy. Um, she started using top coaches videos almost as her personal development because she knew that in her business, she wanted to work on business growing as far as her personal development goes. She's still reading Gabby, but she knew that she needed to get more as far as what works, what, how the business works and, you know, how people are running their businesses. So, you know, these resources are here and I just urge you, instead of going to your coach and using them as Google, to approach them in a way of where can I find this? Because I think that it will make things easier for you and your coach if you do that. Um, final thoughts, just treat your business like a business. You are the CEO of this business. You signed up for this for a reason. Um, take charge of your, of your business. I, you know, saw my mom graduate from college this weekend, which is a really, really cool thing. She, um, and there was this guest speaker and he always says, or in, in, the spe in the speech that he had, he mentioned something about, you know, show up for yourself and showing up for yourself is taking charge of your business and, you know, finding these answers yourself. And if you can't go to your coach and ask them where to find them, not what the answer is. But the purpose of, you know, me mentioning this guy's name was Yellow Light. Who would name their kid that? Anyway. I know him. <laughs> Do you? He was, he was really good. So his name was Yellow Light, but the biggest quote that stuck out for me to him was, or stuck out for me from him, sorry, was that he said that, you know, it's all about the effort you put in, but the last 10% is where that effort really, you know, comes into play and flourishes. So, you know, with this, don't rely on other people. Find the answer yourself. Be resourceful. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of it, guys. So, can I show something real quick? Of course, then. 
And I think Ryan has something he'd like to share as well. Um, See, it gets everybody's gears going and they want to show all these resources. Give me control. Oh. Approved. All right. So I wanted to come to my page real quick. Oh, good call. It's Joan Woodbury, not Joan Crocker. If you're searching for Joan's page. It is Joan Woodbury. It's Joan Woodbury Crocker. It's both. Oh. You can type in either and find me. Um, I just know that there's not a lot of Joan Woodbury, so I did that first. All right. So if you come in here, one of the things that I did want to show you is, yes, all of our team calls and everything like that is in here, but I also have created all of these playlists from things that I have found. So you can come in here and you can watch videos that are specifically on combos. You can come in here and you can watch videos that are on challenge groups, different beach body trainings, team cup tips. Um, diamond group trainings. You can come in here and learn about spouses, like why should I sign a spouse? How to's, these are like how to's for like everything. Look, there's 25 freaking videos there. Um, this is from the National Leaders Conference. Um, what's coaching? There's five different videos in here that you can come and look at. Basics, coach basic stuff. And here's a playlist of all of the things from the leadership retreat this last year. So, um, you can come in here and you can see these. There's eight more categories. I won't click on this, but you get the picture. There's a ton of playlists in here. So even more stuff for you, aside from just the videos that we're posting, or I know that there's other leaders on the team who also have their own YouTube pages as well that you can go to. Or you can come in here and you can see, you know, under these, all the team calls and different trainings. Um, you know, but I'm not a salesperson. Some of even the videos that are in the coach sneak peeks are in here. Um, and that's another thing to note too, is that you guys, if you're in a group, if you're in a training group, or if you're in a coach sneak peek group, you don't even have to ask, but you don't even have to ask for the template. You have it. You were just in the group. You can go and look at it. You can save it. You can tweak it. You can create the um, videos, make them of you, and then you can go and run them anytime you want to. You can create your own calendar and you can do things anytime you want to. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to like talk about too is, um, so you have all of these resources here, but you also have the national wake up call. And so you can download the Team Beachbody podcast to your phone. That's a good resource for you. Kat, I'm going to click over here onto your um, Team Beachbody. Okay. I, was pulling up, I was trying to pull up Evernote to go with your template. <laughs> okay, that's here. But yeah, um, let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, so if you come up here um, right to the top, sorry, it's taking a second to like pay attention and listen to me. Coach breaking news. Like you can come in here, national wake up call replay. So maybe it's just easier for you to grab it on your website rather than your phone and the podcast. But like, I think that's kind of the point of all of this, whether it's YouTube or the team beach body site or the team website or the team page or somebody else's Facebook page or somebody else's Instagram or any of those things. There are so many resources for you to use and to be successful with this business. And that's such a key thing there. It's your business. And whether you succeed or whether you just flail around and, and go like this, it really is based on you and what you want because all of the tools and information are out there for you. What did you want to say? Uh, the only thing I was going to add is this call is amazing and listen to yes, everything that Kat's saying. So she's doing an amazing job telling you that there's a plethora and an infinite amount of resources out there, right? But what I want you to focus on is if you're a brand new coach or you're in a coach basics group or you're being coached by someone that is telling you what to do. When you finish a video, when you finish a piece of the training, when you go to the Coach Basics tab under Joan's website that she's created, you need to make sure that once you're done that piece, say you're on number step two, and you want to know where to go, go back to your coach and ask them. Don't just go and look at 15 other videos that don't pertain to you. It's going to get you bogged down. And you're going to get way overwhelmed. There's a system, guys, to this business. And it's set in there to, to make you guys succeed. So when you watch that video, go back to your coach and say, great, I finished this video. What next? They're going to tell you what to do next. Whether it's a getting started right call and it's putting up your post or it's going through genealogy on telling you how to place people in the downline and build your business and maximize the compensation plan. There's a way to do this business. 
There's a ton of resources out there, but make sure you're listening to your coach of what to do next. If you're stuck, ask your coach what to read for personal development. Don't just go down in the personal development list and pick a book. Tell them what you're working with and tell them what you're having a hard time with and get their recommendation. To kind of piggyback off that, exactly what Ryan says, I don't want this call to come off as, you know, don't talk to your coach. They're annoyed. Like, I don't want it to come off as that. Your coach is going to get to the point, like, you know, I sit here and, you know, I'm, I'm good friends with Joan, so I see how hard she works and how many people she's helping. So that's kind of where this conversation came up and this topic came up. And But the reason for that is that, you know, there's a lot of people on our team that are leaders that are still, you know, asking these questions. And it's, you know, it's right out there for everyone to see. So my purpose is still bug your coach. Your coach will have the guts to tell you where to find it if you should be finding it yourself. So if you're at that point where you should be flying and, you know, spreading your wings, your coach is going to tell you. So just don't be afraid to ask the questions, but just know you'll know when it's time to where you should be, you know, trying to find these things on your own. Bother the heck out of your coach if you're a brand new coach. Your coach loves it. I know I love it. It makes me have so much energy in this business when I have someone messaging me a million times a day asking <laughs> questions about it. You know, there's a reason why we're all here. We're, we're, you know, we're passionate about it. So, you know, still ask those questions. Your coach will point you in the direction of how to find it if they feel like you should know where to find it. Yeah. And the last thing too, is I know that there is a post right within the team page on Facebook, but I know a lot of people also have been asking about recommended reading lately too. So I did just want to point out that this is like your little personal development, like heaven. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Yes. There's this cute little image I made, but um, <laughs> you can go beyond that if this would listen to me and scroll, here you go. And you can see that there's just list upon list upon list. There's even, um, you know, links that you can actually click on and call archives that you can click on and free audio that we've put up here for you. And, or you can connect to like Shalene Johnson's, you know, podcast or whatever it might be. So the list goes on and on and on. But if you need to know, like specifically for a comp an issue that you're having and you're unsure or maybe it's an area that you need to work on or something's not flowing right in your business and you're like, I'm not really sure what I need to work on. This is what's happening. That's when you talk to your coach about it. But if you're just like going, 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 and you're just like, I need something on this, come here and you'll find something that will fit your needs. Yeah, and to, to kind of add to that, I just saw Joan scroll through and one of the videos and one of the things that she scrolled through was down at the bottom. I don't know how to use this. Um, so down at the bottom here in her little infographic, Jim Rohn's The Art of Exceptional Living. If you've never listened to Jim Rohn, he's kind of the papa of personal development when it comes to network marketing and living your best life. And he talks about there's millions and millions and millions of books out there, but pay attention to the ones that are going to make you successful, help you live the life that you want, help you with your finances, help you be happy help you gain the skills that are necessary to kill this business and have a happy and successful life because that's what we are as beach body coaches we're helping other people have healthy and fulfilling lifestyles and also you want everybody around you to be happy and you want to be happy yourself so focus in that realm of what's going to add to your skill set so that you can go out and crush whatever it is you want to do this business in particular absolutely and I'll put myself out there. If you have any questions about where to find something, feel free to message me. I'm always here to help. I don't care if you're my coach or my downline or whatever. You know, I'm, we're all here to help you. So just let us know. Sorry. I don't know why the phone's ringing on my computer. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah, we'll end that with that. Usually I try to end with, like, an inspirational quote, but yellow light, you know, just – I don't know. wasn't as inspirational as I thought. Leaders are readers. There's a there you go. <laughs> leaders are readers. Perfect. What was the one about resourcefulness? Um, something about coaches are. Coaches are. Wait. It's not a lack of resources that makes somebody not succeed in this business. It's a lack of resourcefulness. 
So keep that in mind. And if you are having trouble figuring out where your resources are, come back to this little video that we're going to post and put in the team page. And if you have a question, go to your coach. If your coach isn't available and it's an emergency, go to your coach's coach. Don't go five levels up if you have a question that your coach can easily answer because sometimes we're not available. So we want to be able to make sure that you're getting your question answered. And if nobody's available for some reason, nobody's answering their phone, post it in the team page. All right. 15 people will jump on and answer your question. I guarantee it. Awesome call, Kat. Appreciate it. I think this is an awesome resource. <laughs> <laughs> Refer back to this call if you have questions. All right. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye.